one. I'm in the garden and I found some interesting things that I thought you might like to see. As it's springtime, there's lots of creatures that are building their nests, lots of birds in our garden that are really busy with their nest building. And the granddad found something which isn't, an, it is a nest uh, or start of a nest, but it's not made by a bird. So I'll just show you. It's very beautiful, but it's very fragile. And actually, it's the start of a wasp's nest. And it's made of this papery substance. They make it by scraping off the wood with their mouth and making it all mushy, like paper mache. And this papery material, they make it really beautifully. It would be bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger till it was a big wasp nest and then they will lay their eggs inside it. But it's really beautiful. It's very clever how they make it. So he found that. And then the other thing I found yesterday was this. Very fragile again. i just show you my hand. It's a lovely bird's egg. It's empty because the bird has hatched and fledged and gone out of the nest and hopefully survived and we've looked it up it's a beautiful blue one with brown little speckled marks on it and we think it's a blackbird's egg and that got me thinking I'd like to show you a couple of other things I kept them these aren't from this year but I had them in my greenhouse because I thought they were so lovely I didn't want to throw them away when I was cutting back my hedges last year I found them they're old nests but how clever are birds to make these? But can you see they wind all the, the grass and moss round? Pretty isn't it? So that's a tiny one. And then I found another one here. And this one's much bigger. And this one's quite solid because if you look they've even stuck as well as the moss. This is the moss that's growing all round on my walls and lots of old roots and um, these are bits from this big tree here this big tree that I'm pointing to they've obviously collected I think this probably came from that one actually because there's lots of pieces in the middle of it which I know are part of the leaves from that but they've stuck it together with mud to make it really that's a really quite a solid one so I don't know which bird laid uh, made that nest but it's a really good one and then I thought I'd also show you that Granddad and I have got lots of these around our garden. We've got lots of nest box boxes um, that Granddad's made or people have bought us and we put them all around our house and that gives birds an extra space. They probably can make choose where to make their own nest. They use trees or in, in bushes or hedges but to give them another safe space some people put nest boxes up like we do. So I thought I'd show you a couple of other nest boxes that you might be interested in. And do you remember we said that different creatures make nests? We looked at the wasp nest and then we said lots of birds make nests. We've also got another interesting box that Granddad's made for me. And this isn't for any wasps and it's not for any birds. This is actually a case we were lucky enough to have dormice living in our woods which we might do because this is hazel and they like this particularly because it, it gives them lovely hazelnuts and they would maybe use a box like this now it's only gone up a little while ago so there's nothing in it but I can lift the lid and I would be able to look inside well actually a friend of mine would look inside because he studies dormice they're very rare and they have to be treated Very similar to a bird. 
fact, I think a bird might have shared his nest box. It looks as though there was an egg in there as well. You can just see in the picture. But this is what a dormouse would be like. They're very cute, really cute, but they're very rare now. So you never know. Because of our lovely woodland, if Grandad shows you where it lives, we've got this nice woodland and it might be a place that we are lucky enough to have dormouse, dormice living here because they live, we know they're living on the other side of the valley so you never know, we might be lucky and, and see a dormouse in our woodland as well. One more thing to show you, come down the bank and I'll show you. Let's go and have a look at another nest. She's gone out for a little while and can you see she's left her eggs I think they'll be warm enough because she's put them inside the central part of the nest which is all warm at the moment we can see one two three four five six we think there's six there could be another one there but we can definitely see six but she'll probably be back in a minute she's probably gone out just to have a bit of fresh air herself and maybe get some more food for herself 
but and it's the warmest part of the day today it's got warmer as the morning's gone on so i think um should be back soon but they'll be quite safe looking good isn't it <laughs>